Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and I wanted to do a quick look through and review of From Adam to Us from Knotgrass. It is their world history. So first I have here the textbooks that come with the program. Um, it does come with two textbooks. So for the first half of the year, you'll use the first one, and then second half of the year, you'll use this one. Um, now we're just going to mostly look at the first one for today. So there we go. And then let's go to, let's see. So each, um, each textbook has 15 units and in each unit there are five lessons. So there's 75 lessons in each textbook. So that covers about, um, 30, 30 weeks of school. So we are really, really loving this program. Um, my son is learning so much from it and the reading and everything that comes with it is just very enjoyable. Um, so let's flip to a lesson. Now you can go on their website and, um, see some samples and stuff, but I just want to show you guys how beautiful this book is and all the illustrations. We really love it. Okay. And then we're going to go to the end of the lesson and here it even gives you like extra assignments that you can do so um our creative world the timeline book and the student workbook we have but here's some extra things that you can do on your own like thinking biblically and vocabulary so that's really awesome and this can actually be used as um a credit for literature and a credit for history so we are really loving it. And then another really cool thing I wanted to talk about was in this book there, each unit ends with a family activity. So I want to go back here where the family activities are. Like here's one for unit 15. They would make a priceless collection of Chinese porcelain. And it explains that in this activity, family members will create a collection of Chinese blue and white porcelain from poster board. So we have not done this one yet, but this is one that we will be doing in the next couple weeks. And here's another really cool one, the Northern Lights in Iceland. How cool is that? So that's pretty much the textbook. And now I want to show you some of the things that come with it. So with it, you get Our Creative World, which is basically just, um, like it says, stories, poems, documents, art, and architecture from world history. So with each lesson, well, not every lesson has this, um, but some of them do throughout the units. So you would just go to whatever page it says for the lesson. And it's just got different things like poems and really pretty illustrations and pictures. So we've really enjoyed this as well that goes along with it. And then the next thing that I absolutely love is the map book because it's kind of hard to find a history program that also includes geography. So I was really happy when I found this one and found that it does include geography as well. So they would just go to the map that they're supposed to do for that day. Now this isn't an everyday thing, but a couple times a week they do a map. So I really like that as well. And then the next thing is the timeline book. And again, this is something I really love because we're able to document each event that we're reading about. So that's been really great. And then I want to show you the student workbook. Now, this is something that's optional with the program. Um, they also have a lesson review type workbook that is more for older children, um, where it's just questions from each lesson. Um, so, but we decided to go with this one because we thought this one would be a little bit more fun. It has um, word searches and crossword puzzles and different activities like that, um, pictures to draw. So, we really like this. And then it does have some like fill in the blank stuff and that kind of thing. So this is going really well. I actually asked my son for next year 
if he would prefer this type of workbook again or if he would prefer the lesson review and he wants this one again. So we will be going with that again. Now, the last thing I want to show you that is also optional to the program is the literature portion. Um, now, you can use these as family read-alouds or your student can read them on their own, but um, we've chosen to use them as family read-alouds because I've never read any of these books and I've heard that they're really good and so far the ones that we have read have been really good, so I've chosen to read them to him. Um, now, the ones that we have read are The Golden Goblet, which we absolutely loved. That has been our favorite book so far this year. We've read The Fables of Aesop and The Bronze Bow. We absolutely loved this one, too. It was very, very good. Highly recommend it. And currently, we are actually reading A Single Shard. Um, we are about halfway into it, and it's, it's pretty good so far. Um, I've heard it can get a little sad at the end, so we'll see how that goes. I will be updating on that for sure. And then the other books that come along are The Switherby Pilgrims, Children of the Storm, Chestry Oak, The King's Fifth, and Madeline Takes Command. We are really loving the read aloud portion of this. I think, I feel like it really just ties everything that we're learning together. So that's going really awesome. Um, I did want to let you guys know that I did purchase this with my own money. So I am in no way affiliated with Not Grass. So my review is completely 100% honest. But that is pretty much all for today. Um, I will have some links down below if you want to look into the Knotgrass curriculum or if you would like to look into their samples and stuff on their website. So thank you so much for watching. See you later.